Good morning, everybody. It is a Thursday here in New York City, <clears throat> and my voice is cracking. Today, I want to give you guys a look into a work day of my life, work from home edition. To be honest, I think I chose a good and a bad day because uh, there's not much going on, but at 4 p.m., I do have to go live with uh, Sophie Pavitt, who is an esthetician. I typically do act as a spokesperson for Dr. Jart. Um, I'm always on the lives, I'm on the stories a lot, but not as much these days because I just um, assign it to my direct report. Working from home has been, I don't know, I can't tell if it's good or bad for me. I'm definitely getting used to it. I usually wake up around 8.30 and roll around in bed for 30 minutes and then um, I finally get up at 9ish and start making my bed. And then I make my way over to the kitchen because I don't have a desk in my room. I look so depressed. <laughs> but this is me just catching up on all the emails that um, came in overnight and I tend to respond to the ones that obviously are the most urgent. Hi. Hey. I like to jot down notes so that I don't forget anything that was discussed over the call and it's obviously always good to refer back to. It's pretty straightforward. Yeah. The uh, only, oh. yeah, the only thing I called out to her, but you were, I CC'd you in like that separate conversation. Okay, sounds good. All right, thanks so much. Thanks, bye. And I don't know why drinking water is so difficult for me unless I'm eating, but I try my best to drink a glass of water every morning. But again, it's so inconsistent and it's so hard for me for some reason. I also need to spend time every day cleaning something. It helps me unwind and declutter my brain. I know I'm really decluttering my space, but it helps me declutter my brain. When everything else around me is clean, I feel nice and organized and ready to work. You can also see here my work setup. I have my notebook and then much needed water to stay hydrated throughout the day. My tiny little laptop and my phone. And then we have Slack and then my Dash Hudson platform that helps me schedule all of our Instagram posts. All right, we're busting out the air fryer. It's the fastest way to cook chicken breast. Got one breast here and this is from Costco. I usually cut my chicken into bite-sized chunks and then I weigh it out to be about 115 grams. Perfect. This is also from Costco. Oil down. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of oil, nothing crazy, and then in goes our chicken. 100 grams of chicken.
I'm about to hop on the IG Live for Dr. Jart in a few minutes. Um, I just put on a simple top, not distracting at all. Um, and then I just filled in my brows. Thankfully, because it's skincare, I don't have to wear like a full face of makeup. So it's very little prep work. Instagram Live is open and ready to go for 3, sorry, 4 p.m. And then here I have my talking points ready and products that we will be talking about. Hi guys, I'm Frisia from the Dr. Jart team. Hi Jessica. Today we're going live with Sophie Pavitt. She is the absolute cutest esthetician. She knows all about skincare and we're gonna dive deep into everything related to SPF. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, so good, you. good, good. How are you? I'm great. I'm in my studio today. Um, I've just finished up, so yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to see you. Yeah, I know. We were able to touch base quickly earlier in the week uh, via a Zoom call to kind of walk through everything, but uh, I wasn't able to show my face at the time. <laughs> um, but you can check it out on our website and also DM me on my um, Instagram and, and I'll get back to you in terms of booking appointments. Okay, amazing. And someone said both of you have flawless skin. <laughs> oh, I know, yeah. Okay, diving right in, I think we're going to take it back to basics today. What exactly is SPF? Why is it so important? That's a great question. Um, I mean, I think the subject of SPF is so overwhelming. There's so many different choices. People get overwhelmed with the difference between SPF, UVA, UVB. For the people that are wondering what the difference in texture looks like for our physical and chemical sunscreen. I will demonstrate for you guys right now. I personally love both, but if I had to choose, I would definitely choose uh, the sun fluid. It gives you benefits of being super lightweight, invisible, like look at that already. There's no, no cast at all. So you can get everything at Dr. Jart, either on us.drjart.com or at Sephora. It is now, you know? Yeah, but I hope everyone in the audience got some of their questions answered. Um, but thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next one. Yes, thanks so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see ya, bye. I am pretty much done for the day. Um, I didn't really feel much because it was basically just me glued to my laptop and typing away, answering emails, and um, I had a couple of conference calls, so I couldn't really record that. So thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next one.